The Raspberry Pi 5 is the latest of Raspberry Pi's series of small single board computers. Now, many things have been ran off of these things from fridge screens to temperature control and just about anything you could think of. But can it run Terraria? So today we are going to be trying to get Terraria to run on a Raspberry Pi 5. But before we start this video, if you could do me a huge favor and press that little subscribe button down below, we are trying to reach 10K before the end of this year and any help would be greatly appreciated. But anyways, let's get into the video. So this right here in my hands is the Raspberry Pi 5. And as you guys can see, it's freaking tiny, man. This right here is the eight gigabyte RAM version. And I got eight gigabytes of RAM because I figured that Terraria would, you know, take a hold of that. And hopefully it'll make our game run a little better. But not only do I have the Raspberry Pi, I also have a screen to go along with it as you guys can see it is freaking tiny man this is a five inch screen for comparison um and we can just we can just plop this on and there we go it's on and like that we have a little mini stack now the way that this connects to the raspberry pi just like this this is the connector right here um i don't know if it'll focus Come on, there we go. As you guys can see, this is a little connector. It connects right here on the IO. There we have it. It is in. So prior to this, I did load Ubuntu onto this so we can get Steam on here and uh, see if we can play play a little bit of this, this, uh, this Terraria. So let's get into it. All right, now that the Raspberry Pi is up and running, um, I am going to plug in my keyboard and then I am going to plug in my mouse. Bada bing, bada boom, right there. And that should get my mouse up and then nice. Sweet. All right. So now we are in a full-fledged Ubuntu boot. Uh, now let's try and uh, download Steam. As you see here, I have the Pi apps install command right here. So we're just gonna get terminal open so that we can run this. All right, we have the terminal right here. So what we are gonna do is we are now going to paste that command right in, as you can see. Bam, we're gonna put my password in. And there we have it, we're installing. All right, and I just started the opening for Pi Apps, and if I just drag it over here, and I believe if we go to the games section, we should be able to find Steam right here. We're gonna install it. Uh, let me put in my password. As you can see, it's installing. We're just gonna wait. All right, so it's all set and done. Um, as you can see, it's just gonna auto close. Um, we are going to actually start Steam and try and get this going. It says right here, uh, press return to update the list of available packages. So let's press return. We're gonna put in my password just as so. All right, and it's setting up right now. It says I'm missing that library. Uh, it's 32 bit, but as you can see, Steam's installing and updating. Hopefully that library thing doesn't become an issue uh, later on. I really hope not. All right, just some more package installing. Same old, same old. Oh, and here we have it, Steam right here so let me put in my username i'm just gonna blur this quickly okay let's go to terraria so as you guys can see it says stream we're not gonna do that that would be absolutely cheating we are not gonna do that we are going to natively install this so if we click this this computer and click install here we have the install. And as you guys can see, it is currently installing. 
This is huge, by the way. Like, actually massive. We finally got this running and going. But uh, let, let's let it install, and I will uh, I'll talk to you guys when it's all done. Okay. So, it's finally installed. Let's press play. I really hope this runs well. I'm like actually praying this runs decently well. If not, we can try to optimize it as much as we can. I'll do my best. Oh, here it's loading. It's not responding, but doesn't mean we can't wait and oh my god it's running right now we actually got it running i don't want to jinx myself just yet it's not responding again i'm gonna select english so unfortunately the screen is way too small so we are gonna have to play it a little cropped but that is not an issue because it seemingly runs, just full-fledged runs. We're gonna turn the quality on low, background off, blood and gore off, and basically everything else off. That just upped the FPS so much. Let's just start a new character. Let's call it Pi. Create, create new. We're also gonna name it Pi. And we're going to create. And hopefully, hopefully this just means it's going to run. Like, just well. It, it is going to take a extremely long time to create this world. It's running off of a micro SD card. So give it a little bit of time and we'll get in a world. I made, I made a whole sandwich and it's still not done. Now that we kind of got it running up again, we are going to press not multiplayer. We're going to play, uh, play some single player. We are going to play on that character we made. Let's just go into a random world then that I have. Uh, we'll go on to master. Oh, oh. We are in. Wow. We are actually in Terraria. I mean, it's basically in slow motion, but that's okay. Um, it seemingly runs a little bit better, less slow-mo. I mean, it's still slow-mo, basically, but it runs. I think that's the big part of this. This runs. And so, seemingly, we could play this. Like, I, I, I could play this. I mean... Would I want to at this FPS? No, but it's playable. Like I can, I can play. So I guess this, um, this answers our question and that Terraria does run on a Raspberry Pi. This is actually, I mean, here's the thing though. Doesn't run well. I'm going to be honest. It doesn't run well at all. It's slow mo. I mean, it, it runs smooth, but it's in a slow mo state. It's very kind of meh, but it runs and it runs pretty decent, runs pretty all right. So that does answer our question. Terraria does run on the Raspberry Pi, as you can see. So if you are going to run this on the Raspberry Pi, just know it's going to run just okay. I mean, you're not going to get the best performance. It's a Raspberry Pi. What do you expect? But at least, you know, it runs and, uh, you can definitely play. But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video of me trying to get this to run and, you know, seemingly it works. If you guys did enjoy this, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, like the video and comment if you originally thought it was not going to run because I kind of thought this whole time I probably won't be able to run this, but it does. So, um... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, bye!